Hello there guys, it's Gamer64 here, and today I'm here to give my thoughts on a movie that I watched recently. Um, to be quite honest, I have not seen a movie this good in the past few years of watching movies. Like, I thought this movie was excellent, and I want to share it with you guys. So, I'm going to be talking about the movie The Shallows. Um, it's base. The story basically revolves around a surfer who is from Texas who mo or who goes on vacation to this island where her mother basically had her, and um, they. The, she kind throughout the movie she kind of claims the island as hers and her mother's and her family's and all that, but it's not really, and um, she kind of feels like she should surf there at some point. So she ends up going on vacation. Um, ends up surfing there, and she stays out just a little longer than she should. Um, the other guys that she was surfing with were like, Hey, we're gonna leave, we're gonna go back to the hotel, um, that we're staying at, blah blah blah, whatever. And then she's like, oh, okay, I'll just catch one more wave, um, and then I'll come back in. Little did she know that would be a very, very bad mistake. She ends up going, um, missing a wave, I believe. And she goes into a great, great white shark's hunting territory, which is where this big dead whale is just floating in the ocean. Seagulls are pecking at it. Um, the great white is not there when she first discovers it, but when she does discover it, she tries to turn around and hightail it out of there. But the shark notices her, um, bites her leg, incapacitating her. Um, she swims to a nearby rock, stepping on, like it's like coral or fire coral or something like that. Um, so that pretty much incapacitates her entire leg, except for swimming, obviously, because she can barely walk. And I really like the way that her character was set up. She was, like, a med student, so she knew, like, for example, how to sew up her leg using her two earrings that she had. She put in, like, some suture or whatever. It wasn't actual suture, obviously, because how are you going to get suture in the ocean? But she used, like, the needles from the, um, earrings... And she clipped them together to hold her wound together. I thought that was a very creative idea and one that I really liked, honestly. And, like, she was talking to herself as if she was the patient and the nurse at the same time. It was kind of, it was a cool dynamic. I really liked it. Um, let's see what else. She also cut off the sleeve to her, like, um, surfing vest and kind of put it around her leg to keep the blood flow from being too high so she wouldn't die of blood loss, you know? And, um, she cut off the blood flow to her entire bottom leg, so the, um, so the coral, um, cut wouldn't, like, get too bad or anything. And, um, eventually, the high tide starts to set. So, yeah, that's when the rock starts to just disappear into the water, and the water is getting thinner and thinner, not thinner. The rock is getting thinner and thinner and thinner as the water is rising. So that basically means that the shark is able to get to her, um, wi literally within 25 minutes. Like, the movie gets there extremely fast, and it puts the tense action on you extremely fast. And I really like this, um, character, the woman, who's trying to survive the shark. She's not just, like, an idiot. She's not an idiot. She's a strong, independent strong character and a smart one at that like she was outsmarting this shark she wasn't just making a stupid decision like hey i'm gonna try and swim to the beach it'll work and then she gets eaten no this character was not like that she thought everything through logically she was even timing the shark's laps like around the rock and from its hunting ground back to the rock like i really liked the way this character worked she was timing um, how the shark was swimming, when it was swimming. She was planning things out. She planned to swim through a field of jellyfish because fire coral stings like jellyfish. And at one point in the movie, the shark rubs up against some fire coral, freaks out, slams its head against the fire coral, and it hurts him, obviously. And she's like, oh, okay, I'll swim through the jellyfish because it's the same pain, and he didn't like that. And she uses that to her advantage. She takes that danger of swimming through the jellyfish to avoid this shark that wants to kill her. And I just really liked the way that she was thinking the entire movie. Just how to defeat this foe. 
And it really pays off for in the end. I will admit the movie did have one stupid moment. There was a moment when she found a flare inside of a rescue box on top of a um, buoy. It wasn't a bit, it wasn't a buoy, it was like, it was more like a floating tower, I don't know what to call it, I can't remember what it's called, but there was like an emergency box there with a flare in it. And basically what she did, she was just kind of shooting at the shark, trying to catch it on fire, and then she shot one flare at one point, and it lit all the water up around the shark, and it like lit the shark on fire for a few brief seconds, and... The weird part, there was no oil or anything, there was nothing to actually catch the water on fire. It just kind of burst into flames, which that was really stupid. Like, I felt, oh no, the movie's just gonna kill off the shark by fire. But thank goodness it didn't do that, or else I would have been extremely disappointed. Because the movie was great up until that point. Um, that scene did kind of turn me off of the movie, just for like 5-10 minutes. But it did not kill the shark, it didn't really affect the shark at all. Like, you could cut that scene out, and it wouldn't matter. Like, you could cut the entire flare scene out, and you wouldn't miss any of the story. So, I guess no harm, no foul. So, I can't really say that the movie was stupid because of that, because it wasn't. Um, the way... Well, you know what? I won't give spoilers. Um, but the way that she kills the shark... I just gave a spoiler, didn't I? <laughs> the way that she kills the shark, the shark, I, um was very genius. Um, at first, it doesn't seem like she really knows what she's doing. And then you kind of get the gist, and then you see her actually pull this off, and it works. So, yeah, the um, shark death scene was very cool. I really liked it. Um, very elaborate. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a very quality movie. Special effects, I thought, were great. There were a few times when you could tell that the shark was fake. Like, a f there were... Three, four times when you could definitely tell, like, that shark was fake. Like, it's not the best movie in special effects, but it was pretty decent, I will say. Now, getting on to the best part of the movie was Sully the Seagull. Yes, if any of you have seen The Shallows, you guys will know that there is literally a seagull in every single shot after that woman gets onto that rock. And I loved him! The seagull, in my opinion, was the best actor in the movie. Like, he was great. He was just sitting there, just chilling. She's getting attacked by a shark. He's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> it was great. There was a scene where, like... And, I don't know, the, the woman and the seagull had such a great dynamic, even though the seagull isn't even, like, a human. Which, the seagull was not CGI. That was a real seagull, by the way. Just trained really well and all that. But there was, they have such a great dynamic. Like, one scene, it really showed off, like, kind of their budding friendship, in a way. Like, I don't know how it's a friendship, it's a seagull. But still, um, she ends up waking up, and there's all these little crabs all over. She ends up smashing one, she tries to eat it, and it doesn't really go well, because you're supposed to cook crab, you can't really just eat it, you know? So she kind of pukes it up, and the seagull just walks over, all chill, he looks at her, he's like... So, <laughs> he looks down, just eats the crab. It's like, oh my god, that's great. But, the seagull, I loved him. I loved him. And in the credits, they even gave him a name, Sully the Seagull, um, as himself. It, that was pretty funny. And then I ended up Googling Sully the Seagull from the Shallows. There was a, there's a fan page on Twitter. I'm, fo I'm following the fan page. But there's a fan page on Twitter for a seagull from a movie. <laughs> And that was just great when I found that out. It was great. I laughed so hard. And that was the funniest thing ever. It had, The Seagull even has its own IMB page where you can like look up different actors and what movies they've been in. He has a page for that. He has like a little profile picture. It's a seagull. It has his date of birth. Um, it has his name and all that. And it has the movies that he's been in. He's only been in The Shallows, which I hope he's in more movies, honestly, because he was a great actor. <laughs> but um, he ended up making it in the end. There's a moment of um, suspense where the shark is kind of swimming around. Well, she basically saved this seagull because it could not fly. So she put it on a piece of broken surfboard and just kind of sent him on his way. And there was a scene of suspense where I thought the seagull was going to die. And I would have been severely upset if he did die. 
Um, the shark was just kind of circling around the surfboard, and I guess it just decided to keep on after its prey that it was after. And the seagull is just watching the shark, and he's like, okay, cool, I'm not going to die. See ya, later. <laughs> the seagull was great, I loved him. But, um, yeah, overall, the movie was really good. I really enjoyed it. Definitely one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Um, as of new movies, anyways. Um, yeah, definitely one of the better movies I've seen recently. So, anyway, guys, um, that's my little wrap-up of The Shallows. If you enjoyed it, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.